what's up guys it's the number on pred here and today what we're bringing you guys is day number 21 of the 25 dna bombs of christmas the gameplay you'll be watching in the background for today's video is an asm1 speakeasy dna bomb on the map green band green band isn't a map i particularly like to be honest at the start of the game at the start of advanced warfare to be more precise i actually did like this map because it came gave me a sort of a resemblance to the uh, MW2 map called High Rise, and it did have a lot of similarities, i.e., like one building on each side, like um, parallel to each other, which is kind of a cool feature. I always like um, maps that have two buildings on the opposite side of the map because it's like a nice spot to hold spawns and stuff like that. It's always been that way on CODs um, since obviously MW2 and that. So I like the map because of that. But the reason why I didn't like it, and I found out the hard way by, by, by dying too off a DNA bomb, is that you can actually fall through the map at times. As you saw, like, literally just a second ago, there's like a hole you can fall through. And there's not one, there's about four around the map, and one just there as well. And it's just annoying because sometimes you don't think of where you're going, and you just fall through the map and die. And that's the way I was, I was just like, what the hell? When I died, and I was just like, wow, when I found out how I died. And ever since then, I kind of dislike this map. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it ramb rambling about the gameplay. Uh, not the gameplay, sorry, the map. Because I'll be here all day ranting about it. And I don't want to give a negative vibe over this commentary. In fact, I want to bring a positive vibe. Because I've got some nice Christmas music in the background. I'm not sure if you guys noticed that. But I bought some, like, not bought some, downloaded some um, dubstep sort of Christmas music to put in the background. Which sounds cool. Trying to get you guys in the spirit and the mood for Christmas and uh, help you guys look forward to it. And also another change for like the, the noise you're hearing, as in like the sound you're hearing, sorry, the voice you're hearing to be even more precise, is that it should sound a lot clearer than it did before. I'm not sure if you guys have noticed that. Let me know down below if you guys have. Comment down below if you have uh, let if you can tell the difference with my voice. Um, like right now, like pause the video and let me know. But um, the reason why you guys may, or why I'm saying this, is because I've bought a new microphone and I bought it like a few days early before Christmas because personally, I couldn't wait. I just want to use it and I actually want to use it for the end of this series. And I just want to make most of the last five episodes, including today's video, because you know, it's only a yearly series, so you know, make most of it, have the most fun with this series as I have so far and I will towards the end so I thought you know just buy a new microphone make the last few commentaries sound sound really good I know I'm not the best commentator but um, buying a new microphone is definitely a start because it eliminates all that buzzing sound that I used to have on my old headphones I used to commentate on which actually were the uh, Total Beach X21s which are actually gaming headsets they're not even commentary headsets which is pretty bad that I actually put up with them for over a year so that's kind of embarrassing on my part and therefore I apologise but at least I've got the snowball now so my voice should sound crystal clear with no buzzing in the background and it should sound a lot different a lot more like me as well which is something I do like about it so uh, let me know if you guys can tell the difference hope you guys did enjoy this video make sure to drop a like rating if you did but anyways have a great day guys and I'll see you tomorrow Peace.